Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do all the different adjustments on this BBD. Uh, this is a Carter two barrel carburetor. This is a 74 and later type of carburetor. Uh, it's called a solid fuel type. Now we're going to measure the float height. And uh, Mine happens to be a quarter inch, but uh, check your spec sheet. It's different for different vehicles. And we're going to measure it from here down to the middle of the float. And we're going to measure both sides. We've got to be the same, quarter inch. If we have to adjust it, we're going to bend this. Don't bend the pontoons here. It'll break and cause them to leak. If you need to get one uh, a different height, bend them right here. Okay, so well, that's adjusting the float level. Okay, here we go. Alright, so first thing we want to do is uh, uh, turn the idle screw all the way out. That would be uh, either one of these, actually. Turn that out. But what we want to make sure is that the uh, throttle valves are closed all the way. So we'll just unscrew that so it's not holding the valves. The valves are closed. Can't hurt, can't see anything around them. Okay, that's the step one. The next step is to loosen this uh, screw right here. Okay. Loosen that a little bit. See how it moved? All right. Then we're going to depress the uh, vacuum piston to the bottom and hold it in the down position. So push it down all the way until it bottoms. And uh, while we're applying a little bit of down pressure on this right here, to a lifter arm uh, contacts a piston plate. That's this right here. So you want those tabs to hit it. So make sure they're touching. Push that all the way down. Make sure that's touching like that. And hold it. Tighten this back up. And, voila. and there you go. We got, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. You may have to do that two or three times like I did. That's the way it is. Okay. So that's adjusted. Um. Okay, I'm going to adjust the accelerator pump now. And on my spec sheet, it shows a half inch. Uh, it's different for different vehicles, so be sure to check your spec sheet. And what we're doing, we're measuring from the top of the stem of the accelerator pump down to the top. Okay, right here. So I'm going to use this one to measure a half inch. I got this out a half inch. And the first thing you do is adjust the stop screw. That's this one right here. And what you want is the throttle shafts closed. And you want to turn this back out. So make sure the throttle plates are all the way closed. Okay, so there's touching. All right, so you turn in just until it touches, then do full two full turns. Half, one, one and a half, two. Okay, so now we got two turns. I can three see the. Okay, two turns, and we're going to loosen this screw up. Okay, and I'm going to lift this up right here, this plastic piece that's holding the accelerator pump. Try and do this so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to do this until it's right up to a half inch. Alright. 
All right. Hmm. Got to turn so I can see it. Okay, right there. Tighten it down. And that's it for the accelerator pump adjustment. Okay, now I'm going to do the fast idle cam adjustment. And what you do here is uh, you want the fast idle cam here and the idle screw here to be on the second tab. <coughs> second bump right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And you want this turned in just until it touches it. And then you hold your choke in. Oops, got off of it. Okay. And you hold your choke in, and you want to measure uh, the distance between here and the valve. And uh, mine, it's uh, three thirty seconds. It varies uh, for different cars. Mine is okay. Uh, 330 seconds, 764, uh, uh, mostly 330 seconds. So you measure that. If you need to adjust it, you do it by bending this arm. So if you need to make it in closer, bend it right here. Just bend a little bit. Bend it right here just a bit. And if you need it farther out, then straighten it just a little bit. But that's all you got to do. Pretty simple adjustment. Okay, now we're going to adjust the uh, vacuum brake. And to do that is uh, we're going to apply 19 inches of vacuum uh, onto the uh, vacuum brake here or pull off. So let's pump it up to 19. Okay, pulls it in. Let's see if I can hold it in anymore. No, actually that pulls it in all the way. So probably you could just hold it in all the way. If you don't have vacuum tester, all you should have one. All right. Uh, step number two is pl place the uh, fast idle screw on the second step over here. Second step of the fast idle cam. Right there. Okay. Close your valve until it stops. Don't force it. And you're going to measure uh, the distance from the tower wall over to the choke valve. Okay. And in my case, it should be uh, oh eighth of an inch. Okay, so you would measure that distance. It's pretty darn close. And then to change it, you would adjust this right here. You would bend this out or squeeze it in either way, depending on which way you have to go. Okay, so that's the uh, vacuum adjusted adjustment, vacuum brake adjustment. We'll put the <clears throat> hose back on here. And the next one we do would be the unloader. Turn around. Okay, so on the unloader, hold the throttle towards, uh, or hold the throttle all the way open. Hold the choke closed. Okay, just like that. And again, measure this distance, this opening here. And on mine, the opening should be a quarter inch. Could be uh, different on yours. A quarter inch. To adjust, you bend this right here, up or down. Okay, so that's it. So again, wide open. Close your choke valve till this touches. Measure the distance. If you need to adjust it, bend this arm right here up or down a little bit. Doesn't take much. All right, so we'll be on the uh, choke itself. So we'll turn this on. Now it talks about index marks and stuff. I wouldn't use that because so many of uh, these uh, uh, chokes are now um, what is it I want to say? They are retrofits. Huh. Where does that screw go? Okay. Doesn't go there. 
Okay, I'm going to put a screw in here just to hold it. First of all, make sure your little tab here is on this side because that's how it's going to close it. And this particular carburetor twists to the right to close it. Okay. Now there's your index mark, index mark. I don't use that. Uh, the reason is the uh, carburetors are very old. Uh, they're worn and setting them to the index mark and all that, you know, that's assuming the carburetors in uh, perfect condition. Um, and like I said, the thermostats are retrofit, so the index mark always does not pertain. I have a feeling this one's an OE. But no big deal. Okay, I'll just put one screw in there to hold it. So what you want to do is twist this clockwise until the choke valve closes. And then you get another eighth inch turn just to give it a little bit of, take a little bit of pressure to open it. And that's where you leave it. Okay, that's it. And that's for the choke. Uh, the only other adjustment would be like, uh, let's see, um, we got fast idle adjustment, but that's going to be on the car. Check your spec sheet on how to do that. Oh, we do have the, uh, the bowl vent adjustment. That's also on the car. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do this. I'll just step through it. First of all, we uh, took this off. Okay. And I'm going to place the fast idle screw on the high step of the fast idle cam. And the bowl vent valve should be closed. So let's put this on the fast idle, which it is on right now. And the valve, which is uh, right down here, the little rubber piece we put in early on, that's closed. Okay, so we're good so far. Um, <clears throat> all right, so move the fast idle screw to second lowest step of fast idle cam. And the vent should just start to open. So let me turn this so just a little bit. And I think it should be opened a little more. It doesn't seem like it's hardly opening to me. And so let's see. It should just start to open. And to adjust it, uh, we bend this lever right here. This one right here. Okay. That's it. You do that while it's on the car. Uh, put your top back on with the three screws and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching. You can buy parts from this at mikescarb.com. It's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com. Thanks again.